Okay, hello everybody. Um, we, me and Mr. Shaw, miss you all lots. We thought as you were um, approaching what would have been your PGCC exam, we thought we'd do a little fun quiz with you um, because we heart you. So therefore, heart question, can you name the two chambers of the heart? This was Chen and Lin's final dive in their bid to secure the gold. A backward two and a half somersaults with two and a half twists. Okay, so from the video that we've just watched of the two high divers, would you be able to identify three of the functions of the skeleton and also tell me how those three functions help the high diver be successful in their sport? Which component of fitness is used to complete a headstand? What is the name of the skull which the headstand is primarily on? I've raided the fridge, I've raided the cupboards, and now we're going to have some questions on health, nutrition, diet. Okay. Food. So, look carefully. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. And exhibit C. Okay, so which of these food groups are fats? A, B or C? Which of these food groups are carbohydrates? A, B or C? And which of these food groups are protein? The chicken, by the way. Okay, which of these food groups would a weightlifter need the most and why? A, B or C? Which of these food groups would a marathon runner need the most and why? A, B or C? Okay, I'm about to head out and do my 5k run. Um, what method of training am I doing? And what components of fitness will I be trying to improve? if I'm doing a five kilometer run. Uh, actually, it's just about to chuck it down, so I don't think I am going, but if I was to run 5K for the rest of this week, and then I do 5.5K the next week, and then the week after I try and run 6K within the same amount of time, what principle of training am I applying? Okay, so I am doing a bicep kill with the carabines, okay. Uh, can you name the antagonistic pairs of muscles? Can you name the type of movement? And also, can you tell me which class of lever this would be? I reckon he might be pretty thankful for his personal protective equipment, but can you identify any of the four remaining methods of preventing injury in sport and physical activity? Before some people go to the gym or before they do exercise, they might take something called pre-workout or they might have something like coffee uh, because that includes caffeine, okay? But what type of performance enhancing drug is caffeine? And can you give me a reason why a boxer might... Right, next question. We have three different target groups that I'm going to show you. Which two are missing? Here's one. Here's another. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nearly at the end of the quiz. Uh, Mr. Shaw's last question did fade off. So the end of it was a reason why a boxer might take that performance enhancing drug. Okay, and your last question is, can you tell me at least two reasons uh, why the government should allow people to still exercise? I'm sure they can think of many more, but only two. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. Okay, get your answers into us. It's out of 35 um, and good luck. And all we just wanted to finish off by saying is that we miss you and thank you so much for being an absolute pleasure to teach. Um, you've been a fantastic cohort of students over the past two years, how you've approached GCSEPE um, has been wonderful. 
okay and we can't thank you enough for that and we really 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 will miss you um it is a shame how things came to an end but um just so you know from from our point of view we, we're extremely proud of you all okay and we hope that those of you returning to us we get to see you soon so we don't know the future at the moment but uh good luck to those moving on please keep in touch with us um and like i said to those returning hope to see you very soon Okay, bye-bye, stay safe. Look, from Mrs. Kennedy and Mr. Shaw.